OK, so it's winter time and you don't think anything's going to grow in the garden. Well, you'd be partly right. Except if you've got an old shed in the backyard, like this one. I've got an idea. What about we take the cladding off and turn it into a glass house so you can grow plants beautifully all year round? But not just a boring store-bought glass house, one that's got a bit of style to it, using heaps of recycled windows and doors on all the walls and even the roof. So we've got to check out what we're working with. The timber frame can all stay. We need to get rid of the tin. The floor's OK, it's got rustic charm. And these benches will work beautiful for when we're potting up. Whatever you do, don't throw out old doors like this. They look a million bucks turned into a table. Now I know what I'm working with, we can go shopping. But I'm not shopping for new, I'm shopping for old. Well, if I can't find anything here, <laughs> I'm in the wrong game. Now, there's places like this right across the country, whether they're businesses just set up knocking down houses and then reclaiming, or attached to your local tip. They've got everything, including the kitchen sink. And what I'm looking for is stuff like this. I know they're French doors, but when they're on the wall, they're going to be my walls, and the light can come through, the plants can heat up. I reckon they will be perfect. I need a new ute body. Yes, please. Oh. I've just got to teach you to carry stuff. You can't make an omelette without breaking some eggs. And you can't make a glass house without breaking some windows. Bingo! So you couldn't do that if it wasn't broken? This big beauty is the exact length of across the top of our old shed. Tommy's put up a couple of posts that are going to use as guides until we get this into place, and then the roof, which we can make nice and safe on the ground, sit on top of it. Without the two posts that we'll take away later, there'd be no way to put this in position and keep it there. This is the timber for the roof. If I can give you one tip, pre-painting your timber exactly like this, where it doesn't matter what I drop on the ground and everything's just at a comfortable reach, is a lot nicer than doing it here on a ladder. It'll take a tenth of the time and it won't hurt my back. With all the timber painted, I can build a simple frame for the roof. It's so much easier doing this on the ground and then putting it into position. And for the roof, I'm going to use poly sheets. They let the sun in, and they're cheap and easy to work with. It might be easy to build, but I need a couple of mates to help me get it up where it's meant to live. Let's try not to break any windows. Just saying. Heaps easier making this on the ground. So really, all it is is a jigsaw where I've got to make the pieces fit. These little doors and windows all came from that one second hand yard. And provided I can fill in all these gaps here, I'll just clad them with leftover sun tar for pieces of timber and tin. This is going to let in plenty of light. But before plants can move in, we've got to finish building the walls. And that comes up a little later. And a door becomes a window. Well, actually, it's a wall. Some old weatherboards that you would never use on a new build or a reno are perfect cladding for where we are going to put a little bit of wall. And on the outside, nice and watertight, guess what that was? The old roof. So we're reusing what was already reused. And if your windows are 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 mil out, what you can do is just pack them out with old timber that you might have pulled out of your frame, or you can find them in the cancer throw out. And the old workbench can become a new set of shelves. Finally, I'm going to use a door as a door. We 
we're using another piece of timber that was in the workbench as a little step. What I like most about having a room like this in the garden is you can broaden the range of plants that you might use. Something like this tropical ginger in this suburb that we're working in just wouldn't survive through winter. They can sunbake behind the glass and not get the cold winds. But the thing I like about these little rooms is you can grow your seedlings on so you can get ready for spring earlier than anyone else in your street. Have you seen the price of succulents? The reality is they're really easy to strike. If you just peel a leaf off, get the base of it touching some soil, all of these individual leaves will turn into plants in no time at all. And in here where they can sweat a little bit, they won't even need a water. In fact, anything's gonna get a better start in here. Putting tulips in, again, they'll be ready before anyone else is in the street. It's not just the plants that are going to enjoy this space over winter. This is the best spot in the backyard. There's plenty of room for you and your plants in your very own greenhouse. 